Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another story time and all of you guys wanted to me to tell you guys, oh my god, I got tongue tied there for a little minute, okay? So you guys all wanted me to tell the story about how I got caught cheating. I do do polls on Twitter if you guys want to follow me on Twitter so you guys can go ahead and vote for the next story. Definitely go ahead and follow me and I'll link that down below here for you guys. And so today's video is going to be the time that I got caught cheating. So a lot of people are like, oh, you know, you probably this is misleading. You know, it could be like you cheated on a test, blah, 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 blah. No, this is actually me cheating in my relationship. So I did get caught and it's just funny the way that it all happened. And yeah, so going back to the story, it all began. I was in high school. I did have a boyfriend in school. Um, usually when I date a guy, I actually like to date a guy for a long time. I don't like to be like, I'm dating one guy here, and then the next week I'm dating another one. No, I actually like to date the guy. So I was with this guy for two years and a half. Yeah, so I met him at school, and he was like a short guy. I don't know, I thought he was so cute and everything. He had hairy, hairy legs. And um, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to be naming names because you never know um so uh i remember when i met him i was like damn he is going to be mine at that time i had no boyfriend i was i think i believe i was like in 10th grade i want to say he was an 11th grader i was a 10th grader um so i was like man he's cute i need him i want him so i remember i walked him to his class and I remember behind his notebook, I kind of wrote my number down and I told him to call me sometime. So d he definitely did call me. I kind of was like the one that was like, okay, he's shy. I'm just going to go for it. You know what I mean? Why not? So I definitely gave him my number and I wrote it down for him. And then I remember back in the day, you have like the phone line and then you have like the color ID on a box. So I remember seeing the number there. So like I knew it was him because I remember his last name and it had his last name in the bottom from his, I think his dad's name is the same. So he was like a junior. And so we were dating for a while. It was really good. We dated for two years and a half. But then kind of like things changed a lot. Because my mom was kind of snooping around my room and kind of reading my love letters and stuff like that. So our relationship really kind of changed because my mom's husband kept me grounded most of the time that I was in high school. Because I would really get bad grades. So, you know, um, I was grounded. So kind of our relationship kind of, we started kind of distancing from each other. And so I... At the time, I was playing soccer as well. So I had practices on Wednesdays. And then I had my games on Saturdays. So I would go to my practices and then I would go to my games on the Saturdays. So there was this particular park that we would go to. Where I live now is kind of close by. Um, I would go play soccer there. And there's always that lady that sells the tortas, you know, the pepinos con limón y chile, the candy, the chips, the drinks for the soccer players. So I would always go. And there was this old lady that she always did tortas de milanesa. She did like all these kinds of tortas, like damn, you know, so my mom was always there. So I remember going there. I think I was getting something to drink, I think it was. And then I remember the lady standing there and her son was standing next to her. And she's like, ay, tu estás bien bonita. You know, I think you would make a great girlfriend for my son. And then I was like, and I remember the words exactly. I said, no, I have a boyfriend. I told her, no, tengo novio, gracias. He was standing next to her. And he was kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I really didn't, like, I brushed it off. I don't know. I brushed it off and I was like, you know what, I have a boyfriend. So I'm not like the type of person that likes to kind of uh see other guys while i'm dating a guy especially because i really like this guy but even though we were having our problems and stuff like that you know i was like eh so i don't know time went by and i kept seeing the guy and he kept trying to talk to me and stuff like that and he was a soccer player as well so i ended up giving him my number because i was like thinking well we can be friends you know i mean what is the worst that can happen you know what i mean so me and this guy kind of started talking and he invited me to go out with him he's like oh you know we can just go out my mom became really good friends with this lady that we used to like talk to them all the time so he invited me to go to see this uh racing car racing 
thing. I don't remember where it was, but we get to see the cars race. So he did take me. And let me tell you this. My mom never let me go out. So this guy was like the first guy I ever went out with that actually went out on a date. Like out of like going out actually. Like actually going out as in going out to dinner or going to a party with him. Going clubbing with him. To the boyfriend that I had that we'd only see each other at school. He would walk me home and then he would go back home. And if we had a mutual friend that was having like a party, we would go and see each other there. But other than that, we really didn't go out. Unless we were going to like McDonald's to eat or something like that. So this guy was actually taking me out, you know. So I was like, I kind of started getting like, whoa, like this is what it is to like date a guy, you know, like older. Because the guy that I was dating was a year older than me. But this guy was like... A few years older than me I think he said he was at the time like 20 something like 22 years old or something like that so he started taking me out and I kind of started liking it so this one time the guy was like oh you know let's go clubbing you know what I mean but at the time I was like underage so I don't know if I was able to go but he told me to lie about my age like I wasn't drinking so I was just going to be with him. So I was like okay so we went and I kind of started liking him. So I told him you know he asked me if I wanted to be his girlfriend and I said yeah definitely I'll be your girlfriend. You know why not. But at the time I was still dating the other guy at school so I still hadn't broken off. I didn't know why I didn't want to break up with him. Maybe because I was like still hoping that there was like we were going to be able to fix what felt like we were getting separated from um and i just didn't want to see him with another girl so i definitely didn't want to break up with him i don't know i was just being selfish i guess so i didn't want to break up with him so the guy at school i was still seeing him we would still hang out at school kiss and you know hold hands so this one time the guy at school decides that he wants to give me a fucking hickey and at the time i thought hickeys were like fucking cool and i wasn't thinking you know what you're gonna get caught like you know somebody's gonna see it you know like don't do it so i let him i actually let him do me a hickey i remember it's like so stupid now when i think about it it's like hickeys are stupid like when i see somebody with a hickey i'm thinking Ay, dios mio no no so i i just don't like hickeys anymore i think hickeys are stupid like my husband doesn't give me none i don't give him none we're like that's childish shit like why the fuck people do that shit i don't know so we i let him do one so i remember that i had to go to the soccer to my soccer practice that wednesday and you know i was going to see him but my dumbass forgot to like wear a sweater because usually when i would get a hickey i would cover it with the sweater like a hoodie one and cover it I know y'all guys be getting hickeys when you wear in high school, don't lie. Because y'all looking at me like, bitch, you're crazy. But yes, I know you guys did. I'm not the only one. I hope not. At least I hope not. So, my mom saw it. And my mom didn't know that I was dating two people at the same time. So, my mom only thought I had... I was dating the guy outside of school. And the one at school, I had already broken off with him. Like, we had broken up and we decided to, like go our separate ways but no i was still dating him i just didn't want to tell my mom because my mom thinks it's wrong to like date two guys at the same time like it's not fair for them but i was like a teen like i want to have fun you know what i mean like i want to have a boyfriend at school and then i want to have a boyfriend outside of school you know i can't see the one from school outside of school so i might as well get a boyfriend on the side so that's what my thought so my mom saw the hickey and she started talking crap she's like the fuck who gave you a hickey why do you have hickeys those are nasty you look ugly so then i told her it's like oh you know my outside boyfriend gave it to me like no yeah i told her my outside boyfriend gave it to me you know he gave it to me and blah 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 so whatever you know i was like okay my mom's gonna be cool because it's him so she won't say nothing so i she was like oh okay she didn't say nothing so that day i went to the soccer practice and i saw him i remember i was hugging him and then my mom's like oh be careful he that he doesn't give you another hickey in front of him so i was like fuck like you just fucking ratted me out you know so i look at him and, I, and he pulls back from me and he asked me like oh let me see that hickey you know what i mean so i was like oh my god like let me explain let me explain like please let me let me explain like you know i was like trying to fuck like i don't know what to do because honestly i was like I, I really liked him like you know it's like fuck you know so 
I was like, no way. Like in my head, I was like the whole time, it's like, fuck, he's pissed. He's he's gonna break up with me. He's leaving me. I'm not gonna be with him no more. Oh my god. He got on his car and he fucking left. He left me. He left to the park. He left from the park. He was pissed. Pissed. But at the same time, like I didn't really care because he was the type of guy that when we started dating. He had a girlfriend on a, like, he had a girlfriend before me, and he knew about the guy, the guy that I was dating, but he thought I had broken up with him to get with him. So he left his girlfriend that he was with for seven years, I believe it was, to be with me. But honestly, I was thinking to myself, why would a guy leave a relationship he's been with for so long to be with me? Um, let me tell you, I was not giving it up to the guy, so I was not having any intimacy with the guy like we were just kind of dating because the guy was older than me i came to find out at the end that he lied about his age like he was really older like older like he he was almost at his 30s when he started dating me and he had lied to me about his age he told me he was like 27 something like that 25 something around there he lied to me about his age and he was almost gonna be 30 when i was dating him so it kind of like fucking liar so i wasn't giving it up so every time he would get a haircut i think he would go see his ex so he would break up with me and i guess he would go see his ex and then after like a couple of days later he would like come back to me like oh i want to go back you know i want to try it out again blah 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 you know but he always tried like tried it like leave me every time he got a haircut i don't understand the fuck why i've never i never asked him i mean i don't talk to him anymore uh, because after you know I was like so like in love with him like I wanted to li like not live with him but I wanted to like be with him for the rest of my life you know uh, when he definitely broke up with me like we broke up I remember those few days they introduced me to my husband and you know me and my husband were like talking like friends so I remember telling this guy um when all this happened about the hickey and everything, I told him the truth, like, oh, you know, I was still seeing the other guy, you know. Um, we did break up, but, like, I didn't want to break up. Like, I remember that guy would, that day, like, he was drunk. I remember he got drunk. He would come to my house drunk, and he would sit there in the car and talk to me. Like, I felt so bad. Like, honestly, I didn't think I... At this moment now, I think about it, it's like, why would I want to date a guy that was like that? Now, it's like, it's so stupid. Like, I don't know. I, honestly, on mine, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do anything like I'm not supposed to. I don't do nothing bad. My husband doesn't drink, smoke, or anything like that. So, I can't picture myself with somebody that smokes and drinks and gets drunk all the time. Like, that was him. Like, it was almost every day he would get drunk and he would call me drunk so to end the story we did break up because anyways i mean i had already kind of had clues because i would like go in his car and he would have like hair ties in his car and i knew that it was him that seen his ex like his ex would leave his shit her shit behind the car just for me to see it i guess um so we did break up I mean, I didn't care. It was just a hickey, but we did break up. Um, and then I kind of was going to start dating. I remember it was like a Friday. I told him, because we were still kind of talking on the phone, but he wouldn't want to get back with me. So I felt like I was begging him to get back with me. So we wouldn't, he was not like taking me back because I think he was getting back with his ex. So I remember I called him up. No, I texted him. I remember I texted him and I told him, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm done. And I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. And my meaning to that was I was going to start dating my husband to kind of try to get over him. So the joke that me and my husband have is that my husband was supposed to be my... What is it? My booty call. My get over the old... My ex-boyfriend thing. Because he knows everything. Like my husband before we were even started dating my husband was like my best friend so i kind of would cry to my husband about this other guy so i when i told the guy i'm sorry what i'm about to do is because meaning i was gonna start dating my husband and try it out with him because my husband had tried to get with me for like the past 
year and I was kind of like still with this guy trying to like work things out and it just wasn't working because I wouldn't sleep with him so yeah so I ended up getting oops my heart broken and then I ended up finding my husband and then yeah so I did get caught cheating you guys so for you guys um that were wondering I mean I know it wasn't like something like you know drastic or with my husband or anything like that no 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 it was something before with my husband like before i started dating my husband um so i believe this guy is back with his ex and they now have two children now um so yeah so i definitely believe he was seeing her while he was dating me and then i just kind of made it easier for him to like just get separated like break up because i got a hickey from my ex-boyfriend so i don't know me no 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 sé but yeah definitely this is one of the stories that happened to me like i can by me telling you guys i can definitely like what is up with this what is up with this took me like an hour to fix you guys what is going on here um so definitely by me telling you guys the story i can definitely like go back and i remember it like it was yesterday everything that happened but yeah so let me know if you guys have any stories that you can read like this story to relate to like if something like this happened to you guys i hope that i wasn't the only one dating a drunk guy like a drunkie a drunkie not a junkie like druggy, like i mean drunky like borracho you know um yeah so definitely Leave your comments down below, you guys, if you guys want to see more story time. I do have another video that I want to film. I do have a few more videos. Um, if you guys want to vote here, my other video is the time I got arrested. And then the time that I broke some girl's nose. I have those two stories that I want to kind of like do. So I'm thinking I will be doing two stories a week just for you guys because I don't want to end up doing stories every day and then I'm gonna finish all my good stories like in a month maybe and then there's not gonna be anything more for me to tell you guys so yeah so don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel subscribe you guys for more videos like this I want to thank you guys again for watching and stay tuned for more videos and I'll talk to you guys soon bye guys